One, kick me, I'm adopted. There are nearly 438,000 children in foster care in the United States. In the child welfare system, the child is pulled between three separate and equally important groups, their birth family, their foster family, and their adoptive family. This is one of their stories. <laughs> I'm adopted sign on my behind. Who did this? As far back as I can remember, I just wanted to know who I was. <coughs> oh, baby, everything's going to be all right. I promise I come back, Jeanette. I promise. Hush, hush. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird don't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring. And if that diamond ring don't shine... Time's up, Celia. Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring. And if that diamond ring don't shine... And if that diamond ring don't shine... Come on, Celia, it's time. Mama's gonna buy you, Mama's gonna buy you, Mama's gonna buy you. I promise I come back, Jeanette, I promise. Mama's gonna buy you. Nothing. She wasn't gonna buy me nothing. Cause she wasn't coming back. And she never planned on coming back. That's it. That's what happened. No, 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 that wasn't what happened. Now, you listen to me, child. I'm not giving you away because your poor mama ain't in love with you. I'm giving you away because your mama ain't doing too well in the head right now. Do you know what I'm saying? And I know you're going to live much better without me. Because you're going to live in a nice family with nice people and things just the way that I want you to. Heck, she could have been anybody. I don't know. That was the mystery. But in high school, I found out my mother was from Argentina. So now I'm Argentinian? Ole! <laughs> But I also learned that she had mental illness. That's all I was told. And that she couldn't take care of me. So, this is what she did. Hello! Welcome to Jewish Child Care. You're here to pick up Jeanette? Oh, well, here she is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at her. Isn't she a beauty? Hey there, pretty girl. Oh, who's a pretty girl? Oh, 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 Jeanette, Jeanette. What a pretty name, Oive Schmier. Who's going to eat potato pancakes with applesauce? Oh, Jeanette, Oive, Oive. Oh, you're going to come live with us, and we're going to take good care of you. So, I went to live with the Pharaohs in Seaford, Long Island, a nice Jewish family. I had a mother named Joyce, a father named Saul, and two older sisters, Amy and Nancy, who knew, as far as I was concerned, they were my family. They grew me up. They tucked me in at night, changed all my dirty diapers, fed me chopped liver, and bought me presents on every holiday. And when I turned five, I knew I was born lucky because I got the best present of all. A sit and spin! Oh, my favorite, my favorite! Yay! Man, was it great. Jeanette, honey, there's someone here to meet you. Okay, just a minute! Hi there, Jeanette. Boy, do you look pretty. How are you doing today? Good! Do you know who I am? Nope. My name is Barbara Horowitz. 
and I'm going to be your social worker. That means we're going to talk about stuff. You know, life stuff, anything you want to talk about. How does that sound? All right. Well, today I have something very special to tell you. Next week, you and I are going to meet your brother, Patrick. How does that sound? Patrick? And then you and Patrick are going to live with your real mommy in Argentina. Mom! Yes, honey. Aren't you my real mommy? Not your real mommy, honey. I'm your forced mommy. Well, who's my real mommy? She lives in Argentina, Jeanette. What's that? It's a place very far away from here. It, it's where your real mommy lives. Okay, time out. Here I am. I'm five years old. Just a couple of weeks from my sixth birthday, and I didn't know what to make of any of this. I mean, up to this point of my life, I thought the pharaohs were my real family. I mean, why not? We did family things together. You know, shopping on Thursdays, out to dinner on Tuesdays, R-rated movies on Sundays, and the Sifa Jewish Center every Saturday, like clockwork. But if this wasn't all real, was I real? And your real name is Jeanette Cox. Jeanette Cox? Who the heck is that? I didn't know her, and I didn't want to know her. Then after a week later of nightmares, this barber lady shows up again. Jeanette, honey, there's someone here to see you. I knew at that moment my life would never be the same. Oh my God, they look identical. There was my brother. We were like twins. They do look like brother and sister. Look, look at that. Everyone was having a conniption but me. I suddenly felt like a stranger in a stranger's house. They have the same noses, too. Look. That's my real brother? Yes, Jeanette. You both came from the same mommy. The same mommy? I looked around me. I wanted to scream. Hello? What's going on here? But I couldn't speak. I wanted to run, but I couldn't move. I wanted to do something. But I was just a kid. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jeanette. Happy birthday to you. Now make a wish, Jeanette. Blow out all your candles. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. <sighs> I could stay. Hi, Barbara. Hi there, Jeanette. How are you doing today? All right. Well, I have something to tell you, and I'm very sorry. What? You're not going to Argentina to live with your mommy and Patrick. I'm not? No, cuz your mommy's not doing too well right now, and she's not. She's very sick right now, Jeanette, and she's not able to take care of you the way the agency would like her to. So you'll be staying here for just a little while longer. For just a little while longer? What did that mean? If I'm not going to Argentina, and if I'm not staying here, then where was I going? How come other kids got to stay in the same family? That's not fair. Hey, Jeanette, where'd you get those dirty clothes from your dirty sisters? Hey, shut up. You're just jealous because your mom doesn't let you wear dirty clothes with holes in them. Isn't it time to go home, Jeanette? 
I don't gotta go home. I get to go home whenever I want. I can stay out till dark if I want to. My mommy doesn't care. Hiya, Mrs. Silverman. Hiya, Jeanette. You better get out of the street and in the house. Your mom must be worried about you, kid. Who, oh, Joyce? She's not worried. That's what I was beginning to believe. Jeanette, you get up here right now. For what? What is this? My name. What is it doing on my floor? I was coloring. Coloring your name on my floor? Ow! I didn't mean it. Now you listen to me. You're going to shine this floor like there's no tomorrow. Do you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> now let me hear you say it. I'm going to shine this floor like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to shine this floor like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to shine this floor like there's no tomorrow. And I shine that floor like there was no tomorrow. Thank you.